Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rachakwadash, which is to say the name of the Heavenly Father and the name of His Son and the name of the Holy Spirit in the ancient Hebrew tongue. I also want to give double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone who rule well, the top Bible teachers on the planet Earth today. And I also want to send out a hearty Shalom to all the sincere brothers throughout the four corners of the earth that push the unadulterated truth of the Bible and risk their lives doing so in efforts to waking up the hopefully elect of the nation of Israel. This is your brother Karab from the Great Millstone, Miami, coming back at you with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And Lord willing, this is edifying. Okay. Now the title of this lesson is going to be uh gotta get gotta go through it to get to it. Okay. We gotta go through it to get to it. And obviously the getting to is the kingdom of heaven, okay? Which is ultimately um, you know, it's gonna be uh manifested through salvation. Okay, and it's one of the main reasons that we're doing this, you know, outside of showing our obedience to the Heavenly Father, okay? But by doing showing obedience to our Heavenly Father, okay, we'll be delivered. From the four said perils that are coming on the earth okay and that's the main thing like i always quote my beloved brother nahalia man out in orlando hey keep the main thing the main thing and the main thing uh, uh is to be obedient to the heavenly father and receive salvation that's it okay this ain't you're not in this to be the guy okay or 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 to be super israelite okay because those titles have already been <laughs> have already been taken by our lord yahweh shah okay and he humbled himself to the point where he would not receive those accolades, okay, or be called those things. You know, when he came to, uh, I believe it was um, uh, Jerusalem, and they had the palms in their hands, ready to anoint him or, or, or you know, anoint him king. He said, "No, it, it, it wasn't time." Okay, when he comes back, then you'll know he's the king. Okay, but as for us, man, we got to bear our cross, just like the Lord told the twelve. You got to bear your cross and follow after the Lord. Okay, now obviously the Lord is not here with us. Well, in spirit he is, okay, but not physically, you know. But he, he left us great examples. And all we have to do is follow those examples, okay. And if we do that, we can enter into the kingdom of heaven. But before we do, all, do, do that, we got to go through it, okay. And go through it pretty much starts <laughs> the first day you become part of this ministry, man, okay. Because, look, this ain't trigonometry or rocket science, but it ain't a cakewalk either. Okay, you're going to earn your way into the kingdom of heaven. You know, although that, Lord willing, we've been predestinated, okay, if, you're, if you've been predestinated to be of the elect and to enter into the kingdom of heaven, you're going to put in the work and you're going to earn it. Okay, like the scriptures say, you must labor to enter into rest. And that's what the kingdom of heaven will be, man, ultimately, rest and peace okay and all the other good things dominion a lot of women a lot of children you know but that's what life was it's supposed to be okay so let's get some precepts just to edify man that you got to go through it to get to it that's why the scriptures tell you to count the cost okay this is uh second Ezra, chapter seven and i start at seven so bear with me this is 2nd Ezra chapter 7, verse 7. It says the entrance, uh, wait, I started 6. 2nd uh, Ezra chapter 7, verse 6. It says there is also another thing. A city is built and set upon a broad field and is full of all good things. Okay. And these are the characteristics of the kingdom of heaven. And this is that place, okay, that is being spoke of. Verse 7. It says the entrance thereof is narrow and is set in a dangerous place to fall. Like as if uh, there were a fire on the right hand and on the left, a deep waters. Okay, a deep water, Salakia. Okay, so it, hey, this, this walk is, is, is cognizant of a narrow path that you have to walk down. Okay, and there's fire on one side and water on the left. Which entails what? We can't turn left. Don't turn right. Don't look back. Just keep pressing forward. Okay, verse 8, it says, And one only path between them, both even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go 
Salakia. I read it again. It says, um, verse 8, it says, And one only path between them both, even between the fire and the water, so small that there could but one man go there at once. Okay? Showing you what? That you, you, you have to bear your own cross. Okay? You have to bear your burden. You see, you have to work out your own salvation with fear and trembling. Okay? But the great news is that what? We have a slew of examples on how to walk that path. Okay? And not only uh, 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 accounts in the scriptures, but we have men that have been laboring in this thing for 30, 40 plus years. Okay? That are tangible, that we can see. Our teachers that are not hid in the corner. That we can see that are guiding us down that path as well. You, you see? But ultimately, you're going to have to do it by yourself. Okay? You're going to have to gird up your loins. You're going to have to bear your cross. Okay? We have examples. And we have guidance. But you have to do it. Okay? The elder apostles always say that, man. We can't save you, brothers, man. We can only give you the blueprint, break down the scriptures, and tell you how this thing really works. But you're going to have to do it. Okay? Like uh, uh, this nigga... French Montana said, I could take you to the water, but I can't make you drink. You see, verse nine, it says, if the city now were given unto a man for an inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive this inheritance? You see, so you got to go through to get to it. You got to work for it. This ain't just going to fall in your lap. No, nah, the truth didn't just fall in your lap. Now, obviously, the Lord woke you up and guided you to the teachers, but there's a manifestation on how we obtain this wisdom and knowledge. You know, the spiritual side, yeah, we know, but there's a physical way that this manifested, and it was hours and hours and countless days of, 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 of you know, of studying to, uh, uh, to show thyself approved. You see? Verse 10, it says, and... And uh, it says, and I said, uh, it is so, Lord. Then said he unto me, even so also is Israel's portion. You see? Verse 11, it says, because for their sake I made the world. And when Adam transgressed my statutes, then was decreed that now is done. Verse 12, then uh, then were the interests of this world made narrow, full of sorrow and travail. They are but few and evil, full of uh, perils and very painful. Okay? And ain't that the truth? Okay? That's what your life entails, man. Especially in a, as an Israelite. Okay? So it behoove you to what? Like the scriptures say. Put on Yahweh Shah's yoke. Why? Because his burden is light. His yoke is light and his burden is, 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 is easy. Okay? And that balances out that, that yoke that Esau has on our neck. You see? So it behooves you to do that, you know? Because <laughs> whether you are in this faith or not, if you're an Israelite, you're catching hell. Okay? You're going through perils, anguish, okay? Dealing with death in the family, disease. Why? Because we're under the curses. Okay, so the focus should be, look, let me get on this narrow path, okay, and walk straight, you know, and keep pressing towards that mark, man, which is ultimately salvation. You see, verse 13, for the entrance of the, it says, for the entrance of the elder world were wide and sure and brought uh, immortal fruit. You see, but what happened? We kept transgressing the laws we kept being disobedient to the heavenly father and he kept shortening our time and increasing tribulations okay like the scriptures say tribulations are for the wicked and guess what as a nation we became wicked you see verse 14 if then they that live labor not to enter these straight and and vain things they can never receive those uh, that are laid up for them. 
You see, read that again. If then they that live labor not to enter these straight and vain things, they can never receive uh, those that are laid up for them. Okay. Just like I quoted, you got to labor to enter into rest. You got to work. You really, you got to show the heavenly father that you're, 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 you, uh, you're, you're contrite. Okay. That you're in a repentative state. Okay. And you got to do the things that are conducive to salvation. You got to exude the fruits of the spirit. Okay. And this world is dead set against those things. So you're going to be ostracized. You're going to be looked at as a, 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 a you know, as an evildoer. Why? Because in this world, evil, a uh, good is perceived evil and evil is perceived good. Everything is turned upside down. Okay. Verse 15. Now, therefore, why disputest thou thyself, seeing thou art but a, a corruptible man? And why art thou moved, whereas thou art but mortal? Okay. So that's pretty much it on that. But yeah. That that is pretty much that pretty much uh, embodies our walk in this ministry, man. Okay, and when you go into that word straight, it means a level of difficulty. Okay, like I mentioned earlier, this this ain't rocket science or or, or um, what is what is the word? Uh, my mom always says it. Uh, uh, neurology, okay, the study of nerves, you know, but it ain't a cakewalk either. Okay, and what simplifies it is our Lord Yahweh Shah and following the script. Plain and simple. Okay. Let's get another precept. Uh, this is the book of Matthew, chapter seven, and we'll start at uh, I believe thirteen. Matthew seven and thirteen. It says, Enter ye in at the straight gate. Okay, and like I said, let's go into it real quick. Salakia. Uh, let's see. Bear with me. Okay, and the definition So like, yeah, okay Straight, it says Narrow, straight Okay, and then when you dig deeper Into that word straight, it means A, a, a level of difficulty Okay, so let's read Matthew 7 and 13 It says, enter ye in At the straight gate for wide is the gate and broad is the way that that leadeth to destruction. OK, and that's what the majority of our people are doing. They're going the wide path. Why? Because there's, there's no level of difficulty. You know, when everybody's doing it, then there's there's really no validity to it. OK, there's no substance to it. OK, but what we've been called in to do, OK, is considered what a straight gate, a straight path. OK, a level of difficulty. Why? Because you have to constantly deny your flesh. You see that wide gate. Hey, you just whatever your flesh wants to do. Yeah, let's do it. OK, but ultimately it's going to lead you to destruction. OK, verse 14, it says, because straight is the gate and narrow is the is the way which leads unto life and few there be that find it. You see. And, and just knowing that alone, man, that should be the proportion that you need to continue, okay? There's few that find it, and we see that, you know? Our people are lost in the fucking sauce, man, okay? And neither are they trying to find it, you know? So, hey, the Wadi Habashimi Al Shah for showing us the way, but we got to act as if we're thankful, okay? And it's a level of difficulty, but guess what? Like I mentioned earlier, we... The the, 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 um, the blueprint has been laid out before us, man. You know, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, is praying for us. Okay? We got like-minded men surrounding us. 
Okay, we got elder apostle men, which we believe to be the 12 back in the flesh reincarnated, okay, that are giving us a lively example, okay? So although it's a, it's a straight gate and it's a level of difficulty, okay, we got all the tools, man. We got all the tools that we need to finish this thing, okay? Let's get another one. This is, um, this is the book of Acts. Acts chapter 14, and let's see. This is Acts chapter 14, verse 21. It says, oh no, Salakia, I mean John, Salakia. Acts. Acts yeah, I saw that red, I was like, hold on, man. <laughs> yeah, I was shot. Ain't in Acts the fourteenth chapter, but nonetheless, he is in the volume of the book. Yeah, so this is Acts chapter fourteen. Um. Yeah, we started at twenty-one. Get straight to the point. This is Acts chapter fourteen, verse twenty-one. It says, "And when they had preached the gospel to that city, and had taught many." They returned again to Lystra and to Iconium and Antioch, verse 22, confirming the souls of the disciples and exhorting them, okay, exhorting them to continue in the faith and that we must through much tribulation enter into the kingdom of the Most High, okay? So like the title of the lesson, man, we got to go through it to get to it. Okay, and if you've been in this thing six months to a year, you understand now. You get it, okay? And you find out that this thing ain't all about cursing out the white man and, and, and calling the uh, Eve the nigger woman or the nigger bitch. It's deeper than that, man. Okay, you got personal battles that you have to fight. And guess what? That's every day. Okay, that ain't just when you go to camp or you're around the brothers. No, nah, that's seven days a week. 24 hours you're fighting them in your sleep okay but that's the condition of this battle because guess what it's not gonna compare to what is set before us man the glory okay the kingdom of heaven isn't it worth fighting for you see let's get one more we'll close this thing out this is um this is the book of zechariah chapter 13 okay anyway a milk scripture but guess what that's why it's milk, because the scriptures tell you what? Desire the sincere milk, okay? Because these are the scriptures that pretty much compelled us to come into this thing. The things that we heard uh, early off coming into the ministry, okay? And it gave us hope, you see? But as referring to this lesson, this is Ze uh, Zechariah chapter 13, verse 7. It says, Awake, O sword, against my shepherd and against the, uh, the man that is my fellow. Say, if you howl by Shemiah, shy of hosts, smite the shepherd. And the sheep shall be scattered, okay? And I will turn mine hand upon the little ones. And that's, that's, that has happened to the nation of Israel, okay? The shepherd, uh, uh, the great shepherd being who? Our Lord, Yahweh Shai, okay? Okay, but when you look at it on a smaller scale, the, the, like the scriptures say, the leaders of this people have caused them to err, okay? The men that were set up to be the priests and the leaders, okay, started, uh, 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 you know, teaching outside the doctrine and causing the people to go off okay and what happened the little ones were scattered you see it says verse 8 and it shall come to pass that in all the land say if you how about shemiah shy two parts therein shall be cut off and die but the third shall be left therein you see so that's where we get that ratio of one third of israel compared to two thirds of israel that pie chart okay one third of the Israelites here in America are going to make it. But two thirds of them here are going to die. They're going to perish, man. Why? Because they won't repent and they refuse to walk that straight path. They wanted to go through the wide gate, okay, which entails going to church, okay, or, or, or testing your chakras or getting into energy, okay, or chasing after money. That was the wide gate. But the wide gate was a facade. And our Lord, Yahweh Shah said, it's going to lead to destruction, okay? Verse 9, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire. That one third, it says, and I will bring the third part through the fire 
and will refine them as silver is refined and will try them as gold is tried. They shall call on my name and I will hear them. I will say it is my people and they shall say, how about Shemiah Shai is my power. OK, so, hey, that's the, the, the um, um, that's the game changer, so to speak, for lack of better words. Okay, now we got to enter into the straight gate. We got to go through it to get to it. But guess what? The person that called us into it, the entity that called us into this thing, okay, that woke us up, is the same entity that's going to carry us through the fire and deliver us and bring us into a, a kingdom wherein dwelleth righteousness. You see, you just got to do your part. Okay, but ultimately, you doing your part entails that the Lord is going to deliver you from the said perils. Okay, so yeah, brothers. Keep that mind state. And it's, it's only going to get rougher as things traverse. And we see it. We see the inner workings of it. Okay. It's, 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 it's going to get rough out here. Okay. Those everyday enemies that we've been accustomed to, that we're used to, we don't love them, but we're used to them. Okay. You come in the house and hit the light switch or come in and turn the thermostat on, the air conditioning, kick your feet up on your recliner, turn the TV on, you know. All of those enemies are going to disappear. Hey, but good, great. You know, because it's all a facade. Why? Because the Heavenly Father is going to burn every square inch of America up. Okay? So, um, yeah, brothers, let's fight. Let's fight. Let's, uh, we got the labor to enter into rest. Okay? But, hey, the great news is it, <clears throat> this thing is, is about to boil over the pot, man. Okay? And um, this society and this civilization and this power structure is circling the drain. Okay? So let's stay focused, brothers. But, um I believe I hit the point of Lord willing that was edifying with that I say shallow on.